Hello, Fear the Meerkat here, welcome to another episode of Let's Play Persona 3 Portable. And I know that these characters are probably going to advise me to go into Tartarus in like five minutes. But still, um, I need a break from it. Uh, today's only the 10th, so... Of course there's less stuff to do when there's no school, but... Still, last no admissions test. Yes, Aikiko and I will be taking it. I believe it's on the 16th and 17th. It's only held during the day, so we'll be back in plenty of time to go to Tartarus. I used to think that our schools would be safe from that cult, but I was wrong. All our classmates are talking about the end of the world now. They have no idea what's really going on. My teacher was talking about the cult during class the other day. She wasn't trying to convince us to join it though. But I heard that a lot of teachers at the high school are trying to convince their students to join it. Well yes, they really shouldn't do that. But then there are lots of things that teachers in that school do that they shouldn't really be doing so. Everyone at school thinks this is just a normal third term. They have no clue that this might be the last term ever. Isn't it weird we're the only ones who know about this? Well, us and the cult, but... You know we're off tomorrow because it's a holiday, right? Yeah, it's coming of age day. Like I said before, I'm just hoping I can make it to my 20th birthday. I didn't expect that cult to become so popular. I thought more people would oppose it. But it's like fire drawing moths to its flames. Well, yeah, I suppose people are scared. You know, with... It, considering what things are like with more of the, um... What's-its-face showing up? More people with apathy syndrome? It's not that surprising, is it? That's a cat. Sorry. I just like cats. Hey Adam, I've got some shopping to do. Wanna tag along? My younger brother asked me to pick up some new tunes for him, but I have no clue what to get. Yeah, I have no clue what to get either. Great! Can we meet at Power Records? I'm not done with my workout yet, but I'll be there as soon as I can. Well, okay, um, hey Adam, you that? Sorry man, I don't think I can meet up with you today, I'm sorry, actually my mum passed out, I'm at the hospital right now. I guess you fainted from exhaustion since he works from morning through the night. This is my fault. It's all my fault. I must cause all kinds of trouble. Ah! My mum's trying to leave. She says we can't afford any medical bills. Damn it, why can't I do anything? I thought they had universal health care in Japan, but never mind. Look, I'm sorry about today. I didn't mean to cause any more trouble, but at least you answered your phone. Talking kind of helped a little. Yeah. Well, I might have universal healthcare. It just might be that it isn't completely free at point of entry. And if they are a very poor family, if it costs, say, £30 per doctor's visit, um they might not actually be able to afford that if they're really poor. I gotta get back to a room, so I'll talk to you later. Oh, hey! Hi, um, I don't think, um, that there's anywhere we can go, so... Oh, Adam, oh hey, you walk your dog around this time. I was just about to go home. Woof! I 
I don't know anything about Camille Valley's type. Who's the dumbass in charge of that cult? Here we are busting asses and they go and pull this crap. Can't just blame the cult. The cult only exists because there are people willing to believe in it. I guess that's true. Well, we have to do something. The cult's influence has spread across the city and even into our school. Everyone was talking about how the world is going to end as if it's fact. Man, why are people so weak? Junpei, you thought that the world was going to end and we both couldn't possibly defeat Nyx. In fact, I think both of you said that. So that makes you equally weak, doesn't it? Not everyone can be like us. Unlike robots, humans are all unique. Some people never go that while others submit immediately. Okay, well I don't think I'm going to get anything else useful. Yeah, why not? Everyone at school thinks, oh um, yeah. Right, well I'm obviously not going to get anything useful from him. I don't want this episode to all be me talking to them. Little girl hasn't joined the call. It's good. Um, I, I... Thanks. Oh, uh, hello. My dad, he... That he, he he hit me. I don't know what to do. I know it is. Why would Dad do that? Why? All I did was say I wanted to know the real reason they were getting a divorce. They told me I was too young to even understand it, so I kept asking, but then Dad got angry and he... Then Mum said since I was so annoying, it was my fault. I'm not sure they love me anymore. I bet they won't care if I wasn't even here at all. Are you sure? But then why are they so mad? What if I run away from home? I want to find out how they really feel about me. I don't think running away from home is going to make things better. <laughs> if they love me, then they try to look for me, right? It's a secret, okay? Don't tell mum and dad I'm running away. I really think this is a bad idea. I know you won't tell. Now, I won't tell your parents who I don't know and have no way of getting in contact with them. I'm sure they'll know at some point anyway. Well, I'll have to go now. We can play more later. Hello. Today is coming of ice day. I don't want my life to end before I become an adult. Hey, let's go to Tartarus tonight. I don't want to see the world end. Well, neither do I, but no, we will not be going to Tartarus tonight. Lately, even the late night comedy shows have been talking about the end of the world. It feels creepy. Are you still talking about that? By the way, I wanted to show you this magazine that hits the stands today. Magazine, don't tell me it's about cults. Well, just read it for yourself. you see how true it really is. Phew, it's cold. I should have my skin plated. I'd shine as bright as the sun. You'll know what plating is, right? It's a process to cover objects in a thin metallic layer. Tin plating is done by plating iron with tin. For corrugated galvanized iron, you plate, plate iron with zinc. Gold metals, by the way, are created by plating silver with gold. So technically Olympic athletes don't win gold medals. It's kind of sad. The night sky is beautiful this days, these days. It's because the air was clear. Stars produce light via nuclear fusion and visible planets affect the star's light. That's not to say that that one's superior to the other, they both have their own purposes. Life is the same way, though it might be hard for you kids to understand that now. 
Have you heard the news that's going around? The media makes it sound supernatural, but don't listen to them. That kind of rumour spreads every now and then, like a drop of dye on a specimen. It will die down soon. Well, there's not much going on outside. Oh, there you are. We're all going to uh, Hakakure. Wanna come? Wow, that was easy. Whoa, did you, did you expect to have to wrestle me to the ground and then drag me there? Akihiko-san's buying. You remember that bet we made in Yakushima? Uh, you probably forgot all about it by now. Well, you won in the end. Even if it was, I guess. But whatever. Akihiko-san's still lost, right? It took me like six months to make him accept that fact. So come on, everyone else already left. We gotta hurry. Oh, I think the bat was while we were on the beach, wasn't it? We we're trying to get women to talk to us. What? <laughs> was, was a bad idea. Is the special okay for everyone? Okay. Five specials, please. Man, this is awesome. Akihiko-san's never treated us all to ramen before. Hey, why do I have to treat everyone? <laughs> Not this again. Come on, Akihiko-san. A bet's a bet. Pay up. All right, all right. I never said I wouldn't. What's wrong, I guess? You doubting me too? No, but have you seen the magazine on that counter? There's an article in it that looks highly disturbing. Which magazine? It's... This one, Emergence of a Messiah, the charismatic one speaks. Huh, it must be about that doomsday cult. They're all over the internet, too. Hmm. Huh? Hey, look at the photo in this. Check out the so-called Messiah. What the? I is that Takaya? I thought something was up. So, Streg is behind that cult. <sighs> I've lost my appetite. Listen to what he says. Mankind is currently imprisoned by the sins of hate and anger. But soon, a savior will descend upon this world to break the chains that bind us and lift us to new heights. This great being is Nyx. I have beheld her glory, and she has blessed me with power beyond belief. In Nyx, there is no pain, no suffering. I mean, you would cease to exist after the lack of pain and suffering, but... How the hell does he know about Nyx? Wait, he's saying that Nyx will save the world? That's not true! Well, probably not, although actually we do only have RJ's word for it. I don't think he really means what he's saying. This is all just a game to him. That son of a bitch. I don't think but there any are those of us who do not understand this truth, even though they have also been blessed by her. Um, I think that until I actually the battle with Nyx actually starts, I'm not gonna make any assumptions about what Nyx is or what this will be like. They have acquired the same power as I, yet they abuse it using it for their own personal gain. These miscreants are the ones to blame for the recent tragedies that have been plaguing our streets. On the other hand, he is lying about this. Wait, is he talking about us? Shh, not so loud. Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up with them calling him the charismatic one? How did he get so popular all of a sudden? Well, Jin's pretty well known on the internet. He's probably pretty good at stirring up trouble. Yeah. I bet he orchestrated Takaya's rise to fame. Oh, those two make me sick. Brothers and sisters, I shall go forth to make preparations for Nyx's arrival. But do not fear those evildoers who desecrate their gifts. Nyx shall right their wrongs. May your hearts be filled with peace as you await your salvation. Blessed are those who take joy in the coming of Nyx. The revolution is here. Revolution? People can't seriously be buying this crap, can they? Throughout history, those who have changed the future have often been highly charismatic. That's the end of the article. It appears that after the interview, Jin and Takaya disappeared again. Well, there's only one place they could have gone. 
Tartarus. They must have been planning this all along. Takaya's words have changed the mood of the entire city. Even though they won't admit it, they are all afraid. Yeah. I mean, why else would people believe this nonsense Takaya's preaching? Uh, I guess people just need something to believe in. Well, no wonder there's a sense of doom in the air. We're all gonna die. But is that so surprising? The fact that all life ends one day has nothing to do with Nyx. Death is a natural occurrence in the cycle of life. Don't all humans realize this? Yeah, but there's a difference between I will die at some point and the entire human race will cease to exist in a couple of weeks time. I guess. To tell you the truth, I never even would have thought about my own death if none of this had happened. But since we've made up our minds, why don't we just leave it at that? Our objective is Nyx. If Strega gets in our way, we'll just have to deal with them too. I agree. We'll probably run into the Tartarus anyways. However you look at it, we're the obstacle standing in their way. The promised day will soon be here. Yeah. We need to do all we can until then. All right, and if that's the case, we're gonna need lots of energy. Let's eat. Excuse me, I'd like to order a Hagakure bowl. You don't mind, do you, Akihiko-san? Junpei, don't forget, you're having half of Igus's food, too. Oh, don't worry, I'm starving. You just better eat it all. Hi, are you coming to student council today? I see, I'll be there of course. Have I told you I'm past done with your efforts? Well, excuse me. Toshi, I'm counting on you for both our sakes. Yes, sir. Oh, Adam. Oh, Adam, son. Hey, what did he mean by for both our sakes? What's he talking about? He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked for help from that student. Just like how the president asked Adam to join student council. What? You can't decide something like that without the President's permission. Some boy found a cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom, and that teacher wants us to look for the one who did it. Well, someone broke the rules, and we should find out who. It's our responsibility, right? Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you're trustworthy, or refuse and raise suspicion. We sure have to deal with a lot of BS around here, don't we, Adam? Now, if you were, you'd excuse me. Hey, don't ignore me, you teaser's pet. It's not good for student council members to be fighting like this, right? I'd better go tell the president. Hi, how was your day? I was fine, thank you. It's already the middle of January. Since today's the 13th, we only have 18 more days. But within the first 10 days, we managed to get all the way except the last 10 floors. And I am also getting sick of hearing Fuka's voice. So, today would make an excellent day to not have to be in Tartarus. Did you not hear what I just said? Even though I might be overdoing it, I still want to do as much as I can right now. Oh, for freak's sake, look, I know, game. I understand. You want, you want me to finish the Tartarus missions before... I, I get it. You, you don't have to keep droning on about it, okay? At this point, I'm not sure how the charm and, uh... 
powered are useful. They don't affect dialogue options like they did at the beginning of the game, so I got to far up or more when I went last. It's the same one that's plastered all over the city. The one with the next logo? Oh, so that's how it's pronounced. I just like the logo's design. The stuff we're in here is kind of interesting too. Maybe I should ask them about it next time. Oh, yes, let's do this now. Ah, I've been expecting it. Should we be on our way? Sir, this is the student dormitory where you spend your days. So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room, well... Did it make you a little suspicious? Not suspicious as such, no. I see. Actually, I do have something I'd like to talk to you about. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, Sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I requested to visit your room, if I may be so bold. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you? It was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled after coming here? I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I'll put it more plainly. I'm naive to the ways of your world, and there must have been many times I seem to act quite strangely. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. If you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to guide me through it. Thank you. I feel like a completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then. Though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. Thank you for answering my request. Well then, thank you so much for showing me your room. About what happened. Excuse me, I suddenly remembered. Please keep what happened in your room a secret from my master. Show my gratitude for indulging my curiosity to the end. I have something truly special for you. With this, you confuse car Kia. It's a beautiful bird-like persona that glides over the battlefield. Higher and higher it rises. It too is a part of you, while I can only gaze at it from below. To be honest, I think we've got a reasonably reasonable level persona for for every type of um, attack we could do, other than Mudo, but I don't know. I think that I've got good enough personas here, really. 
I don't think I need any others. But I am willing to stay by your side, no matter what heights you reach. I will overcome any ordeal that may stand in the way of my goal. This is what I believe. This will be the last of my requests to explore your world. Thank you very much for everything you've done for me. Please accept your reward. Is there anything else? No, I'm good. In fact, I don't think there's anything else I can do here. It'd be best just to go back to the dorm. Okay, that probably means he wants to walk, but I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that right now. Look, I I know that you must be getting bored of Tartarus, because I am. But I'm gonna go into Tartarus one last time in next episode, and hopefully after that it won't be necessary again until I have to fight Nyx. So, I'm gonna end the episode there. I will see you next time.